the most? Well, there's a lot of things. Um, I would say this time I explored new things that I've never really done before, like doing my own workouts and going to like the free weight section where all the really, really, really built guys are in the gym. And after a while, it wasn't even scary at all. <laughs> um, so I liked doing that. I liked also having the group atmosphere, everyone cheering everyone on. That was awesome. I, I used to really be afraid of that and now it ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. <laughs> and when I started like building muscle, it was a night and day difference. Um, from warrior one to warrior two, beginning and end, my, uh, my goal that I made, like going from basically cutting my body fat and fat, body fat in half is a huge goal. I've never been where I am now. It's pretty empowering. Um, so that's, that's huge. And along with that, I've learned the tools to be able to maintain that and even keep going if I want um, to go for the rest of my life and have a healthy lifestyle throughout the rest of my life. I just think it's been really, really cool, like the two times that I've done this, um, like adopting the things that I've learned like into my regular lifestyle and um, learning the importance of eating healthy every day and, and exercising. I mean, I'll, I've always really exercised like regularly, but um, like the importance of living a healthy lifestyle boosts so many other areas of your life. This time, um, being caught off guard, um, I had an environment change towards the end um, and had a little setback and I felt like I was caught by the Achilles tendon and uh, that, that was tough. So um, that was probably the hardest. Going forward, it's, I think the hardest thing is going to be main maintaining. Um, I think that's the hardest thing for a lot of people. Um, so that's what my new goal is, what I'm going to focus on. But um, I've learned from like the, the setbacks that I've had in the past, and uh, hopefully that will help me in the future. And rule number one, my environment changed back to the way it was before. So that was helpful. But also I made the mental shift and realized what I needed to do to be able to reach my goal when I needed to reach it by. And stayed dialed in the entire time. Hey Mike. Hey, you're ruining the here. I would recommend this program to anyone who feels like they are like plateauing, whether it's in life in general or physically or mentally, emotionally, and they need something to like boost themselves. Um, anyone in general, this will definitely benefit, but those who really like really want to accomplish something, this, this is it. <laughs> you can set your goal as high or as little as you want, um, but those who really are committed to it and will stick to it will find the most success. What they put into it will, what they, is what they will get out of it. I think this might, might have been my advice last time, but set your goal high. Um, I was so scared of my goal. It was it was a huge jump for me, and uh, you said that it was possible, so I believe that, and I, I did it. And it's one of like the most gratifying things that I have like physically done. And so I would say set your goal high because you never know what you can achieve.